wait madam is here only uh, yes uh, neeli you can hello everyone good morning everybody are able to listen yes okay so we shall start it so today's session is about calligraphy and uh, today we will see how many types of calligraphy are still in the practice and uh, we will learn one of them i am nilisha hosting on behalf of uh, icai amdabad so let's get started first of all let's uh, see how many types of calligraphy are there so there are basic calligraphy western calligraphy eastern calligraphy and very famous in eastern calligraphy are arabic and indian calligraphy and uh, western calligraphy is famous for rustic gothic and other oriental styles of calligraphy now in today's time the i mean the practitioners and artists have involved their own style of calligraphy which is called contemporary and modern calligraphy so uh is this okay now okay so today we will learn one of the modern art calligraphy which is fox calligraphy now the beauty of fox calligraphy is we can create it with any tools we have we can create it with basic pencil pen sketch pen brush tip pen or if you have a calligraphy pen you can create it with that also so i'll show you first with pencil and then with pen i'll also show you the difference between the chisel tip pen and brush tip pen okay so let's get started i am turning around the camera so that you can look at my page so first of all let's get started by seeing the tools so here are the tools pencil sharpener so more pencil you can use this kind of brush tip pen i have dual tip this is a brush tip okay and this is a pointed tip now you can use your sketch pens also and you can use markers as well you can use ball point pens and these are the calligraphy pens which are in point 1 2 and 3 the sizes means when you see the tip the size one is exactly 1 mm right that is the size one you can see it is exactly 1 mm now i have asked to get four line book like this everybody have this book does everybody has this book okay 
so first of all if you don't have this book you have to make the grids like this take a plain paper get a scale and pencil and leave some gap i guess one finger gap is fine and make lines above the scale and under the scale like this now again leave one finger gap and make line above the scale and under the scale like that way i have made these lines if you don't have this book you have to do this if you are going for a plain paper or you want to draw some calligraphy or write something in calligraphy letters on your drawing project or something you can draw grid lines like this now we will add two more lines in between these lines so first of all we will measure it and divide it in three parts here it is 2.6 2.6 cm this gap is and so i will divide it in three parts that will give me 0.8 mm another here okay now i'll draw lines like this so here i am drawing it with sketch pen right now so that you can resemble the line structure मैं ये अभी कलर स्केच पेन से ड्रॉ कर रही हूँ ताकि आपको लाइन स्ट्रक्चर पता चले आपको पेंसिल से ही बनाने हैं अगर आपका प्लेन पेपर है ओके तो इफ यू डोंट हैव दिस फोर लाइन बुक वी कैन मेक इट लाइक दिस बट यूज पेंसिल ओनली आई हैव यूज कलर स्केच पेन नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू विल सी वॉट लाइन आर दीज so our basic letters will be in this blue lines okay like we write a c e right we write here now for the letters which come above here two red line on the top are called accent so they are b d right and the letters which go down to the bottom line are called descent like g y okay so the top line is called ascent the bottom line is called descent this is just for explanation it is not necessary to note down okay yes you can use sketch pens Uh, i'll show all the pens in the last also so don't worry if you miss something so let us start with the basic strokes i am using this book i am to show the difference i'll use the brush tip pen also and with basic pen also this one 
I used this pen for mandala. It is stabilo, and the white pen I used is jelly roll, like this. Okay. I am starting with using my brush tip and the fine tip, so I can show the difference. We will start with basic strokes. Here I'll be using brush tip. Here I'll be using pointed tip. Now our first stroke is upward stroke. Upward stroke is like this. Or this, or this. Okay. Now doing the same with pointed tip. It is like this, this, or this. Now. The second one is downward stroke. Downward stroke is like this, this, or this. Now I'm doing the same with pointed tip. Downward stroke is like this. Or this, or this. These are the strokes using upward, sorry, brush tip pen, and these are the stroke using pointed tip. Now, now we will do underturn stroke. Underturn means we go down and then up. First we will go under and then we will go over. So that will be like applying pressure, then releasing it slightly and going upward like this. And doing the same with pointed tip, moving downward. And then going upward. Now we will be adding another line to the downward line. So first we are going this way, and then we are going that way. This is the underturn. Like this. Don't worry if you don't have this pen because we will be doing our main calligraphy letters with this fonts. Okay, you have to pay attention to this part more. I am just drawing this to show the difference. आपको इसमें ज़्यादा ध्यान रखना है. ये मैं इसीलिए बता रही हूँ ताकि आपको डिफरेंस पता चले ठीक है 
आज हम जो कैलीग्राफी करेंगे वो इस चीज को यूज करके सीखेंगे then we have overturn overturn is first we will move upward then we will move downward so it will be like this and the same with the pointed tip is like this first we move upward and then we move downward now we will do the ascend loop ascend loop means we have to go to this line to the line upward so it will be like this and with the pen it will be like this and we will add one more line to the downward stroke then we have descend loop which goes to the bottom line okay so it will be like this again with the pen it will be like this now we have oval stroke i am showing the big oval because the pen tip is thick here i'll be showing both the thin one and the thick one oval stroke is like you start from the top give pressure to the downward stroke and move upward with less pressure so here we start with upward stroke we go up and now add another line to the downward stroke same way if i show you the smaller one it is like this now how the final touch will look i am showing you in one of them हम ऐसे करेंगे और फिर ये जो थिक पार्ट है उसको हम कलर से फिल कर देंगे लाइक दिस सेम वे आई एम शोइंग यू ओवर टर्न मूव अप धन डाउन धन एड अनदर लाइन and now i am filling the line with color like this abhi lag raha hai ye dono same now again we do it with ascend loop like this
for writing use any simple pen like this or a ballpoint pen you you can use pencil also it is as simple as you have to write in a normal handwriting then add thickness to the downward stroke आप कोई भी पेन यूज कर सकते हैं आप पेंसिल भी यूज कर सकते हैं सी ये मैंने पेन से किया है ये पेंसिल से किया है ठीक है तो आई एम शोइंग यू अगेन the upper stroke the downward stroke downward stroke always thick rahega aur upper stroke stroke always thin rahega okay uske baad jo sare hai usme combination hoga thin and thick mix aayega तो जिसमें भी हम पेन से नीचे ले जा रहे हैं वो थिक आएगा जिसमें भी हम ऊपर ले जा रहे हैं वो थिक रहेगा यहाँ भी हम जैसे ऊपर जा रहे हैं तो वो पतला है नीचे आ रहे हैं तो वो थिक है इसमें भी हम ऊपर जा रहे हैं तो वो थिन है नीचे आ रहे हैं तो वो थिक है इसमें हम पहले नीचे जाएंगे फिर ऊपर आएंगे तो नीचे वाला स्ट्रोक है वो ठीक रहेगा can everybody see this now so this one is upward stroke this one is downward stroke this one is under turn this one is over turn this is ascend loop this is descend loop and this is oval always remember that upward stroke is always thin and downward stroke is always thick the first one is upward stroke second one is downward stroke third one is under turn fourth one is over turn then we have ascend loop we have descend loop and we have over this is the brush tip pen i am using it is a dual tip pen actually like this today we will be doing the calligraphy using simple pencil and pen okay we will be using this kind of point the thin point to do our calligraphy
okay this is the box of pen i have it has 72 colors you can use that of any brand there is no brand specific things you can use this one you can use tadler you can use any other brand that is available you can use brusto color pens but today we'll be doing it with pencil and pen okay you can use sketch pen also but first you have to draw it with pencil only the last one is oval the first one is upward stroke the first one is upward stroke the second one is downward stroke this is underdone this is overdone this is ascend loop this is the descend loop and this is oval yes we will be starting with a to z soon so i am turning the page now we will start with the alphabet now first there are so many things here in my desk just hold on i'm starting with the letters just clearing up my desk a little so that i can get space to move my hand first of all we will start with straight letters can everybody see this this word page can everybody see this page okay let us start with straight letter okay straight letters are i l t and f okay 
so now i these are the simple letters okay now we will create telegraph i am writing i now i am doubling the downward stroke right the downward stroke is always thick so i am doubling that up like this and the dot see can you see the difference how i wrote is i made a downward stroke and then added its thickness like this the only key to learn good calligraphy is to have patience and practice it regularly if you don't practice your letters or strokes your letters will not be very clear or very readable everybody have written i now we will move ahead for l l will start from this top line go to the base line like this now we will add thickness to a downward stroke like this i am doing it again like this and then filling it with color this is l now we will move ahead for t for t we will draw the line then add thickness to our line and put line like this like this this you can draw line here also and here also again i am drawing one more variation like this and you can draw line like this also now we all know that we have to fill the downward stroke like this सबको टी दिख रहा है आई हैव रिटर्न इट इन थ्री डिफरेंट वेज बट आई हैव नॉट फील्ड इन दिस सो दैट यू कैन ड्रॉ द लाइन क्लियरली
now we will move ahead for x now what we all do is we write this and then add thickness to the downward stroke like this or like this or like this and fill the downward stroke with our pencil you can also do like this start with a dot then give a spiral moving downward give a thick stroke to the downward stroke and add this short line over here can everybody see f can everybody see all the four letters i l t and f now we will draw branch letters in straight letters we have used only downward stroke like this now in branch letters we have to use some downward strokes and we have to add branches so downward stroke letters are sorry branch letters are n m h b p k and r n m h b p k and r we will start with n now for normal n we do this down line then do our over turn and add thickness to the downward stroke same way you can do like this also and you can do like this also these are the types of n you can write and you have to fill these gaps with pencil or pen the branch letters are n m h b p k and r n 
Now moving ahead with M. M also it is same like N. Just we have to add another loop. Like this. Or like this. Or like this. Now we will do H H first we draw the simple H like this or like this. See, here I have used the cursive H as a reference. Okay. We can also write it like this. Can everybody see it? Now we'll do B. We'll do simple B first like this. And then this. We'll fill it with color like this. You can see the difference between the normal B and the calligraphy B like this. Now, the cursive B is like this. So I'll first draw that. Now what I'll do is, I'll add thickness to the downward space, like this. From here, it's done. You can also add flourishes like H. I am adding it to the B also. Starting it with a dot. Now adding thickness to the downward stroke. Here is also a downward stroke. So I am adding thickness here.
Sure. Here is the H. Now moving ahead with P. First, I'll show you the normal P. Then calligraphy P. Like this. Then perceive P is like this. Now I'm showing you the calligraphy perceive P. Still thickness here. Filling the downward stroke with our tool that is pencil. If you are using sketch pen, you have to fill it with sketch pen. You can also write P like. This. How beautiful it is, right? The only simple thing you have to remember is when you move it downward, you have to add thickness. And when you go upward, it should be thin. This is P, simple P, then calligraphy P, cursive simple P, then calligraphy, and then the flourish. If you miss out something in between, it's okay. I'll be sharing it with Antri, ma'am. She will share it in the group. You can copy it further. If I'll go slow, we will not be able to do all the letters in the session. If you miss out something, that is fine. Do it slowly, leave the space and move ahead with the another letter. Now I am moving with the K. This is simple K V right. Now I am adding thickness to the downward strokes. Like this. Now, the cursive one we can write like this. So, I am following that. I am adding thickness to the downward stroke. Here also a little downward stroke. And here.
Can everybody see K? For variation, we can also write it like this. You have to practice a lot for the letters. You have to practice a lot for the strokes. You have to repeat at least 20 times. First the basic strokes, then all the letters, so that you can get good handwriting letters, good handwritten calligraphy letters. Done with K. Okay, now we'll move ahead to R. Now, I'll show you 10 types of R. This is the basic R. Now, we add thickness. And like this. Now, take this, I am adding a variation. Like this. I am adding a dot here. Now, I am doing like this. See, these are the first three R with variations. Now, I am moving ahead with cursive R. Cursive R is like this. First, I am writing the basic one. See, upward stroke will be thin. Then here is the downward stroke. Then here again, the downward stroke. So, basic calligraphy R for cursive will be like this. Now I am trying it with some flourishes. So I will be starting it with like this. Adding thickness to my letter. Like this. Now I am adding flourishes to the after end. Will be like this adding thickness to the downward strokes. Like this. Now, one more. Simple flourish like this. Adding thickness to the downward stroke. One more. I 
can write directly like this. Adding thicknesses. Like this. One more like that. Adding thickness to the downward stroke. Now one more. And do it like this. Just a stroke like that. Okay. Now. Now I'm turning the page. We are starting with reverse branching let reverse branching let. Okay, they are U, Y, A, D, G, and Q. Okay, reverse branching means we have one stroke here and second stroke. One stroke and second stroke. Okay. Now, moving ahead with you. <coughs> I am showing it in two lines here because the letters are going very small so that everybody are not able to see. I am starting with you. Adding a line over here. Now, I am adding thickness. To my downward strokes like this. Now I am filling that lines with color. I am using sketch pen for another letter so that it seems to be happening. 
Shall I use blue or green? Which one you like? Okay, we'll move ahead with blue, okay? Now, I'm adding a flourish in the starting, like this. So downward scroll, like this. Now I'm adding thickness to the downward scroll, like this. See the normal letter we write, we like this. Now I'm adding one more flourish. Like this. I'm adding thicknesses to the downward stroke. Like this and ending it with the top. And doing one more stroke like this. And adding a flourish over here. Adding thicknesses to my downward stroke. Again, one more U. Like this. Now, moving ahead with Y. The simple Y is like this. Then like this. We add thickness to this line like this. Then we have Y like this. Then we have Y like this, giving thicknesses to the downward stroke, like this. I'm giving some with green. Mm. Now I'm giving thickness to the downward stroke. Like this. One more. Like this. Adding thickness again. One more like this, adding thicknesses to the downward stroke, like this. 
can everybody see the difference now we are moving ahead with a first we will write simple a like this i am writing it in two lines like this now i am giving thickness i am adding a loop in front first a like this now i am adding thickness to the downward strokes like this here this is also a downward stroke i'll give thickness here also like this so what i have done is i have started it here like this then move like this and this and then added thickness over here and here and here you can also start it like this or you can also do like this just give thickness to the letters where there are downward strokes and see how beautiful it looks just give thickness to the downward strokes now to identify it easily what you do when you write like this you do again over it so you will get to know this is the downward stroke i'll have to give thickness here now this is a upward stroke again this is moving down i'll have to add thickness over there the basic thing of fox calligraphy is you have to add thickness to the downward strokes that's it whichever strokes are moving down you have to make them thick whichever strokes are moving up you have to make them thin as this is moving here up i have not made that thick i have made this one thick because it is moving downward see see we can also write y in this way we will start by doing this you can also add thickness over here and over here like this you can change the flourishes according to the letters i am showing the variation 
but you can apply it to all the letters. This will create your unique style of lettering, your unique style of writing letters. So that will give your type of calligraphy. Your style of calligraphy. But first, we have to practice our strokes very nicely. We will practice it at least 20 times a day. So that we can achieve our good results. Now, we will move ahead with B. I'm leaving a line here because I'll not be able to flourish it nicely. First, the basic D is like this. Now I'm making it in two lines. Like this. Now I'm adding thickness to the downward strokes. Doing a cursive T like this. So, this stroke is going upward, so it will not be thick. Like this. This is the downward stroke. I'll add thickness over here. This is the downward stroke. I'll add thickness here. Easy. These are the downward strokes. I have added thickness there. I'm showing you here by drawing a line. Now I'm writing D in this style. Adding thicknesses to my downward strokes. Wow. See? Now I'm showing you a little difference. See, now I'm using a calligraphy pen. It is a flat tip like this. See, it is thick this way. It is thin this way. So, when I put pen like this, this will be my downward stroke and these will be my upward stroke. Now I am writing this T with this pen. I am starting with a dot. See, nobody is able to find the difference between these, right? You can draw your calligraphy, write your calligraphy using simple pencil and simple pen also. It is good if you use calligraphy pens and tools. It is also nice. It will give you very finished strokes. But if you don't have that calligraphy pen, you can create 
many many creations using your simple pencil and pen even if you are using a calligraphy pen you have to practice your strokes you have to practice your letters so that you can do it very nicely now moving ahead to g i am writing simple g first like this i am adding thickness to the downward strokes like this this is also moving down now i'm adding this style to the i'll start with this write my letter and this see this is moving downward i'm adding thickness here here and here now i want to make this g green so what i'll do i'll fill it with green color i'll start it with here and g here now i'll add my thicknesses I am writing G in this style. adding thicknesses and done you can also write it in this way so here we'll add thickness to our downward strokes like this i have one more g to show it is just like the book font like this Have you all seen this G in your books? This one. It would have been like. I'm adding thicknesses to the downward strokes here and here. Now 
Now we'll do Q. Everybody ready for Q? Everybody ready for Q? Moving ahead with Q. We have to make like this and a straight line. This is the first basic Q. I'm adding thickness to the downward strokes. This is a simple cube and calligraphic cube. Okay, now I'm adding variations to it. I'm adding variation to the downward tip like this. But the rule remains the same, adding thickness to the downward stroke. We can leave it like this also and we can end it with a dot like this. Then we can start like this. Adding thickness to the downward strokes. Now I'm switching over my pen. I'm using blue sketch pen to write this. Adding thickness. Again, I will be doing this style. Again, adding thickness like this. One more cue. I'm writing here, starting it simple, bringing it down, and this, now adding thickness to the downward strokes. Fox calligraphy gives you liberty to use multiple strokes and 
multiple flourishes in your fonts so that you can create it according to your design your you can create your particular style you can create your style of writing your style of handwriting your style of calligraphy using fox calligraphy Now we will move ahead with our oval letters. The basic thing of calligraphy is to add design to our letters. But keeping it in mind that our letters should not be so unreadable. we have to make the letters clear and readable so when we do our calligraphy we don't have to add too much design or too much boldness or too much thinness to our letters it at the same time it should be readable it should be nice it should be clear it should be easily readable so that it stands out very clearly when you write something you have to make sure it is very nicely written and clearly written so that everybody can read it now we have only some letters left we will finish that we will write our over letters they are o c and so i am starting with o here the downward stroke is on the left side i am adding thickness over there i am writing a cursive o oh, i made a mistake it is like this adding thickness to my downward stroke like this i am making a flourish one now like this but thickness is much making another small o like this okay now comes the c i am writing c with blue pen simple c is like this we have to add thickness here see the difference now we will write cursive c and add thickness to the downward stroke now one more style of c but thickness to the downward stroke one more style of c thickness to the downward stroke one more style of c thickness to the downward stroke like this fine now moving ahead to e i am showing it with three pen i mean sketch pen this is the basic e v right now this is our downward stroke so we'll make them thick like this right now again we write cursive e like this so again we'll give thickness to that stroke 
we can also write flourish the e like this we can give thickness to the stroke we can write e this way also like this we can do it like this and add thickness to our downward stroke so these are o c and e we can write e in this way also these were the oval letters now we will move ahead to diagonal letter diagonal letters are s v w x and z we'll start with s normal s is like this we will add thickness over here like this now we'll do cursive as like this see this is upward stroke but when you move downward you have to add the thickness like this i am showing you the basic letters right now as quick as possible and we'll share the pictures of others okay now we'll move ahead to v <coughs> what we have to do is we have to thicken the downward stroke like this we write cursive v like this so we'll thicken the downward stroke like this and this one is also moving down so we'll thicken that also <laughs> now moving on to w w this is the downward line we will add thickness this is upward line this is again a downward line we will add thickness and then upward line. now making the cursive one here this is the downward stroke this is the downward stroke and this one is downward stroke okay now x x we have this is the downward stroke and this one is the upward stroke like this now cursive x is like this so here this is a downward stroke we'll make it thick this is upward stroke so we'll make it thin yes i'll share a picture of it now moving on to z z this is the downward stroke so make will make it thick the cursive z is like this so this is the downward stroke will make it thick this is the downward stroke like
ओके सो वी आर डन विथ ऑल द लेटर्स आई शेयर द पिक्चर विथ अंजलि मैम शी विल शेयर इट इन द ग्रुप ओके बाय एवरीवन सो दीज आर द लेटर्स वी हैव लर्न द बेसिक स्ट्रोक्स लेटर्स यू कैन टेक द स्क्रीनशॉट्स राइट नाउ as it will take a little time for me to share this these are the basic strokes <coughs> these are the letters some more Thank you, Sia. Thank you, Sashwat. Turning the page. Letter J. Yes, J is pending. J will come here. will be like this j is like this adding thickness to the downward stroke making it dark and adding the dot you can write the cursive one like this i'll share other styles in the picture these are the two basic styles the main thing of writing calligraphy is you have to make the upward strokes thin and downward strokes thick that is the basic rule of any calligraphy this way you can create many many different kind of styles like this 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 or this you can add any style to your particular calligraphy or particular word and that will make your word very unique and it will create your own style first you have to practice the basic letters then you have to start adding thickness yes this is z to your downward strokes and that will give you your beautiful letters yes i'll share the pictures of capital letters also and i'll share the numbers also thank you prisha thank you liya thank you kavan disha ritisha gayatri Mira, Lux, Jewel, thank you everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Drishti. have you taken the screenshots for now i'll share the pictures also but for now if you want to practice take the screenshots bye siya these are the straight letters and branch letters
these are reverse branching letters. These are oval and diagonal letters. Thank you, Kinjal. So I hope everybody have enjoyed doing lettering with me. Thank you, Nityam. I am on Instagram with my name, artist Neeli Shah. I am sharing you the name. But there are not much posts, so don't expect a lot from that Instagram account. So, because I am spending more time doing it online and uh, for the customers. This is my Instagram account. This is the, for the Facebook name. So you can also share your artworks on WhatsApp. I'm sharing you my contact number. Yeah. Write your unique style. You can write your name. You can start by writing your parents' name, your sibling's name. You can start writing happy birthday, happy anniversary. You can start writing messages. You can click the pictures and share it to me. Also, if you want any help, I'll help you. You can contact me on WhatsApp. Bye.